man. I'm gonna have so much fun taking pictures for Instagram. <laughs> Okay guys, this is a big box, so I gotta sit next to it to tell you about it. It is the Sailor Moon Stickin' Rod Moon Prism Edition. What does that mean? It means that it is a Pretty Guardians uh, Club exclusive item. I was able to get this through Anime Osaka. I hope some of you all did too. And uh, basically what this is, it's a semi-re-release of the Sailor Moon Gashapon, but they come in a very nice box. Um, and they also include her eternal tear from the Stars season. They are also slightly different, more like the Proplicas and less like the original 90s toys. Because if you already have those figures, you probably got them at Hot Topic, you'll see that they're, they're kind of chunky. They look like the old school toys. Like I said, this box is enormous. So bear with me. I already cut this tape earlier because I was dying to see. Look at that. Look at that nice shiny finish. This box Ugh. feels good, feels glossy. It's really well protected. Sailor Moon Stick and Rod Moon Prism Edition. It's got the club logo on the top left. Over here, got some descriptions of how to put everything apart, particularly the Kaleido Moon Rod. Those are all the bases. It just kind of explains, you know, how to not screw this up. Bunch of Japanese writing. This is gorgeous. This is just absolutely gorgeous. Ooh. Nice shiny gold finish. That's beautiful. Golden pink. And it's just it's just so pretty. I feel like Billy Mays. But wait, there's more. It's got Sailor Moon silhouette. Let me know that this is the super special awesome edition. It's huge. You can see the entire length of my like elbow to hand. It's this is real big. This might open this way. Oh, beautiful. This is new artwork by Naoko Takeuchi that was made for the Sailor Moon Perfect Edition mangas. It's beautiful. You know, she didn't really make artwork between 2003 and 2013 or 14 and this is wow. It's it's breathtaking, it's really big. I wish I could, I wonder if I could take this out and frame it. I really don't think I can, but it is probably, it's beautiful printing quality. That's beautiful. It's also shiny, it's got silver shine out there on the edges. It is, wow. I'm in love with the artwork and I haven't even looked at the toys. So uh, why am I wearing basketball shorts? Ball is life. Two layers of foam. Three layers, that's a lot of foam. This is pretty much what we're looking at. It's a real pretty box, real pretty toys inside. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. If you've already got the tiny little versions of these, you'll immediately notice looking at my video that these are super like a foil, a foil finish. This looks very similar to the museum edition wand. It is slightly different, however, and I guess I'll do a future video on just these so I can show you the difference. This one's super tall, so tall compared to the other one. This is also tall, it's just, they're so pretty. I guess I have to show you them all individually. It looks like the bases, the stands, are hidden inside here. You'll see this has white wings instead of pink wings, like the current Stick and Rod edition has. Because the, the current edition, the one before this, is supposed to represent the 90s toys, and these are supposed to represent the Proplicas. Now, if you know the Proplica line, you know there's a moon stick, there's a cutie moon rod, there is a spiral heart rod, there is now a Kaleido moon rod, but we haven't got an eternal tear yet. And I expect that that will change very soon. And we're gonna go one by one, looking at how beautiful these are. Ooh, this is cool. Check this out. This is really organized. I'm impressed. OK, 
Okay guys, I have found a slight annoyance while putting these together. And guess what it is? These are super loose because these stands have like a plate that these sit on. And that's it. There's no actual like clicky point where it holds on securely. This one has the same problem. Let's be real, I just bitched about it, but I cannot stop staring at these. I think they're so pretty. This is what you'll be getting. It has the fixed Imperium Silver Crystal, or the Ginsui Show, if you will. It has these pretty little swirls, uh, similar to the Sailor Moon World Edition of this toy. Uh, that was like the later 2002-2003 release. Uh, not like the one from the 90s at all. It's also different from the Proplica. The Proplica doesn't have this, it doesn't have this finish. But the Proplica is more of a pearl finish. Do I like this? Oh, I love this. It's so pretty. The crystal is iridescent. It has different colors. If you, you know, shine it in the light, it's great. Uh, what's not so great is that there's no hole on the back for... Da -da -da the stand to engage with. The stand kind of just cups it and oops kind of just slides around in there. It's oh that's scary. This is this is how we get scratches. Hello cutie moonrod. So what I was saying earlier is exactly what I mean. This has kind of a you know a change in thickness towards the middle, which is representative of the Proplica edition, not like the 90s one or the first Gashapon set of these, where this is more of a cylinder. Um, this is much more appealing, much more like the cartoon. I think this is real cool. Look how shiny that is. So far this is a great, great set. Hello there, Spiral Heart Moonrod. Now this is the tallest of the Moon Prism Edition. It's, it's, it's actually a really satisfying size. Again, would I cosplay with it? No. Um, but it, it's very satisfying. You really feel like you're holding something special um, by the size of it. It's not too small like the existing edition. And it, it's less toy-like. It feels more adult, like for an adult collector. Man, this is an enormous, enormous improvement. It's beautiful. The Kaleido Moon Scope has been giving me issues with the stand. It just kind of sits against this wall here. It doesn't hold very well. I'm really scared of getting scratches on this. So what does this look like to me? Well. It looks like the Proplica because it has white wings, right? But the buttons on the Proplica, these two buttons, are on the back. So, is this like the 90s toy or is this like the Proplica? The world may never know. What is similar is that these, the wings, they move. Earlier on uh, Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, I asked you guys, would you display this with the wings in or out? And resoundingly, man, you guys do not like the wings in. A lot of you really said out. And I think it was today, there was an awesome person on there who said out for Harambe. Man, I love Harambe. So, there you have it. This is the Kaleido Moon Scope from the Moon Prism Edition. We're gonna put those wings out for Harambe. I'm gonna be real with you. This whole review, I've been so excited to get to this item. Now, my instinct is to pull here and see if it extends, right? But it doesn't, it, uh, you know. There exists no Proplica for this, okay? But when it does, I really, really hope that it has like an extender so you can have this big old staff. And I know it's hard to see because of the lighting here, but you'll see you have these grooves here, these little bumps all along the front. It's very much, very much like the show. It is, 
It's so cool. I never owned the 90s toy of this. I'm a big fan of stars. This is just, this is just too neat. Let's take it all, a look at all of these together and I'll tell you my final thoughts on this set. It, it's a really good representation of the entire franchise. I can't tell you how much I love these, despite the fact that this just, all of them kind of turn where they want to. It's a little frustrating. I personally will be displaying these in the box. This setup, this wobbliness, this look. That, that freaks me out. Not in my house. Not in my house. Let me know what you guys think and what you'll be doing with them. It is really hard for me to not frantically start telling you all that any Mooney should totally buy this. There's a fan club edition, which is the one that I got, but there's also an edition for non-fan club members that doesn't have the pretty artwork on the back, but it's exactly the same set of toys. This is gonna be one of my favorite Sailor Moon items for the time to come. Um, I already know this just, just looking at it. Just my feeling as a fan that I get from seeing this, it's just beautiful. And I, I don't like to get sappy about Sailor Moon toys, but this is it. If there is one Sailor Moon item that you get, you, you have an instant collection if you buy this. Um, so yeah, dude, like, again, I got mine on Anime Osaka. Um, I don't know who else has it, but dude, I love it. Anyway, this is Sailor Tortilla, and this was my review for the Sailor Moon Stick and Rod Moon Prism Edition. I love it. What do you guys think? Are you going to display them like this, or are you going to put them in the box? Because I am, right now, going to take all of y'all out of these things and back into the box. They are gorgeous. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos or my Instagram or my Facebook or my Tumblr or my...